Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some romances with characters who are plus size. I love seeing this representation in romances. It shows that everyone and everybody is deserving of love. I do have a few recommendation videos with this representation um, and I'll be sure to link those below if you want even more recommendations. Um, but here are 10 romances I have not yet talked about in those videos. So first let's talk about Goal by Alexandria House. This one's really fun. So our heroine gets actually hired to become the hero's nanny. He just got guardianship of his two like kid siblings, young half siblings. And he actually has a girlfriend, but you can tell really quick that she's only there for the money, for the fame. He is a very famous hockey player and she does not want to take care of these kids. And so he hires a nanny because he doesn't really know what he's doing. He's never been around kids, never taken care of kids before. And so he hires the heroine and he quickly realizes, oh my gosh, this woman is amazing. And I think I'm falling in love with her. <laughs> and the girlfriend gets like casted off um, pretty quick um, because she shows her true colors but there's like a little bit of like emotional cheating because he's like falling in love with her while he's already with somebody but the, the the girlfriend is awful so I say go for it my dude. The heroine fully embraces her body, embraces every inch of her and isn't afraid to show some skin and flaunt off the way she looks so I was obsessed with her and her confidence. Next is Trick Shot by Kayla Gross. Kayla actually writes uh, plus size representation in every single one of her books its own voices and I love that she really tries to put that representation in every single one of her books. This one is an MMF romance. So the men in this situation they're actually like best friends but they're also roommates and I think they're roommates. I don't know, they they spend a lot of time together, okay? They're best friends and they actually like are in love with each other as well. And they decide to ask the heroine to join them for a night after one of them uh, meets her at a um, airport and they realize like they don't really wanna let her go after they have some fun together. But this book is really hot and I love the like art that Kayla commissioned as well because you could see all of them together and it's really fun um like beautiful art as well but you get to see like all the different body types that are in this relationship and so there it's really good it's really good one of the heroes is also plus size as well so love that another author that prioritizes plus size representation in every single one of her books is olivia date i really enjoy olivia date's books so i'm going to talk about a series by her it's the something about marysburg series first one is teach me and this one's about an older couple that you would typically see in a romance book. I think they're in their 40s and they're both teachers at a high school. The heroine has worked there for so long. She's a history teacher. She loves teaching history to high schoolers. But then one of her classes that she absolutely loves teaching gets taken away and she's kind of devastated because it's given to a new hire, the hero. And she kind of gets off on the wrong foot with him because she's very butthurt about him taking one of her classes. She, he had no idea, by the way. He had no idea that he was taking this course. He was just given this. And so he decides to kind of like win her back into good graces, um, wants to get on her good side because he knows that she's an amazing teacher. The kids love her, the teachers love her. And he's like, I think she's amazing. I would love to get to know her more, at least be her friend, honestly. Um, and throughout their friendship, and him inserting himself into her life, they actually end up falling in love with each other. And we have another heroine who is absolutely confident like I wish I had her confidence like her just reading about her and the way that she dresses and feels about herself like oh my gosh I want I want that attitude like I want her confidence level the next book in the series is 40 love so we actually have the principal of that school that both characters work at um, the new principal she is the heroine of the story and she goes on vacation with her best friend and she's in the ocean by herself hanging out when a very strong current takes off her swim top <laughs> And she realizes there's some kids coming into the ocean and she's terrified that kids are gonna see her naked and that's obviously not good, especially for a principal. <laughs> she sees the only shield nearby is this very honky, chonky, buff man, okay? And she's like, okay, I have to do this. And so she plasters herself to this man's back and is like, you have to help me. I do not want to flash these kids. And so they kind of like work together to get her out of the ocean without anyone noticing that she's topless. That's our hero of the story. He's I think like 10 years younger than her I want to say. He works at the resort that she's staying at as a tennis instructor. He's gone through some trauma in his life. He used to be like a very prolific 
and very famous tennis player but he got injured and he's now only really able to teach tennis instead of play it and it's affected him mentally really because he's he's really sad about it but yeah he meets the heroine in that interesting situation and can't get her out of his mind and yeah that's all i really want to say but it is it's really good is good and then the last book in the series is actually a um like bind up of little novellas this is the sweetest in the gale this one is really <laughs> really good um so each book there's th so each story has a heroine who is plus size the two that i remember absolutely loving is um another one between two teachers so one is uh the heroine is an art teacher and the hero is i think the math teacher and has to observe her because typically in public schools a lot of teachers have to observe each other for certain reasons she's a new hire so he comes in to observe her they don't really get off on the right foot something happens there's kind of like a miscommunication little honestly judgment on his part at first but once he sits for a while and watches her class and watches these students interact with her like he's sold on this woman it's like oh my gosh like this woman is amazing um where he's like they're complete opposites she's like loud wears a lot of color paints he is very straight laced and um has a very set routine loves math like they're very different but it's really cute that's my favorite one in the bind up and then um my other one that i love a lot is the friends to lovers one where the heroine in here actually has to marry her best friend from from college because he's like you don't have health insurance and you might have breast cancer so let's get married and then you can come on my health insurance and through their like marriage of convenience they like fall in love with each other we're leaning more towards the like paranormal monster romance route next i have a yearning for her by tiffany roberts tiffany roberts also has quite a few books that have plus size representation in them which i love this one is another heroine that absolutely loves every inch of her body and her skin so i love that confidence i love also plus size representation where women are a little bit more insecure about themselves because i can really relate to that like i feel like a lot of people can relate to that no matter what type of body you have so i do love reading about those as well i'm not saying that i don't just putting that out there so this heroine starts out at the beginning of this book getting finding out that her boyfriend is cheating on her that she thought like he was gonna be the love of her life that they're gonna get married be in love for the rest of her life but no she finds out he's been cheating on her she is distraught and this hero who is a i think incubus which is a male version of a succubus um bumps into her and is like oh my gosh she is stunning let's get with her for the night and so she decides to like let off some steam the night she realizes that she's been cheated on hook up with this guy and then she dips out the next morning hero wakes up like hours later and he is baffled because the way that he lives is he feeds off of people's like passion and he can maybe like get a few hours of energy here and there from feeding off people like not like actually feeding off of them but like being around someone's like passion and whatnot but this heroine literally basically was a super battery for him <laughs> and like charged him up for days and he's like oh my gosh i have to find this woman he doesn't have any way to find her track her down doesn't know her name last name doesn't know like anything about her and so he basically just goes roaming in the streets of the town for days and he's like slowly withering away because like he literally cannot feed off of anyone else now like his body won't let him his mind won't let him he's like i need to find this woman um and when he does all bets are off just just letting you know like because she doesn't realize what this dude was like that he was like a creature of some sort a book that i recently found at a half price books look at that i found this book at a half price books for 10 bucks love that um this is a soul to heal by opal rain which is the second book in this um dust walker brides series um so this one our heroine um starts out in a very dark place mentally she finds out that her husband is cheating on her and so she kills the mistress and her husband <laughs> and the um villagers that she lives in she lives in this village it's like a fantasy world by the way ends up basically tossing her off of a cliff into the area where demons are like demons feed off of humans she lands on top of our hero who is this dust walker who's kind of like a mix between a human and a demon creature and she basically is like you can kill me i don't care she's on the verge of death but no this dust walker creature decides to nurse her back to health get her healthy again but at the beginning of this book she is in a very dark place anyway it's a very slow burn monster romance so if you're wanting like slow burn monster romances i recommend this whole series you have to read these books in order by the way really recommend it it's better for like the world building and whatnot and like the lore and the information about like 
who these monster creatures are, what they are. Next, I have Marrying Off Morgan McBride by Amy Berry. This is the second book, I believe, in this series <laughs> where you have a very um, interesting group of brothers who run this ranch. It's a historical, by the way, historical like Western series. You have this group of brothers and they have this young sister Junebug who really wants to marry off all of her brothers because she's sick of being the woman of the house and doing all the chores and cooking and whatnot so she's like let's find wives for all of them um so she already had a victim in book number one with one of her brothers so she decides to marry off another one and puts an ad in a newspaper and our heroine Pip ends up showing up and she's like so excited she's like I'm gonna have a husband I'm so excited and when she shows up the hero doesn't even know about her, doesn't know what's going on, didn't even want a wife. And so she's very disappointed. She has to stay the night because she has nowhere else to stay and things kind of happen between the two of them during her stay. And it's actually really sweet. I really enjoyed this one. So if you want like a fun Western, if you want to get into Westerns, I do recommend this series. I also have Marion Scandal by Anne Gracie. This is my favorite book in this series. I really started loving Anne Gracie's books. The heroine of the story, um, we met her in book number one. Her brother's story was book number one. And she's an heiress actually. She is due to inherit a lot of money when she gets married and she gets kidnapped at the beginning of this book by this guy who like drugs her at a um, ball. So she gets kidnapped and um, during her kidnapping she starts escaping a few times and in one of the escape attempts she ends up across a carriage and the man in the carriage saves her. Turns out she knows this man. It's her like brother's best friend because she's been gone for so long and she shows up back in like London with this band. People think that like they're together. She's ruined essentially so they have to get married. Um, the hero never really expected to get married but he's very besotted by this woman. Thinks she's absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning but the whole the majority of this book is them figuring out like their relationship and married life together. But the beginning is really fun too with him like rescuing her and whatnot. I do love this heroine. Um, um, she has experienced quite a lot of judgment from other people, especially at the boarding school, the women's boarding school that she was at. She got ridiculed a lot for her weight and the fact that she's unable to read. Like she for sure has dyslexia. Like they don't know what dyslexia is, but she has dyslexia. No matter how hard she tries, she's not able to read. And she actually is keeping that very close to her chest, that information, because she doesn't want this hero to reject her because she is falling in love with the man. So. I really love this one. It's my favorite in the series. The last one that I have is a fun little novella. This is Rescued by Mermaids. I think it's like literally 15 pages long, honestly. Um, and it's a sapphic uh, mermaid romance where our human woman is um, hanging out in the middle of the ocean and she gets lost or the current takes her out um, while she's just rowing, trying to enjoy the view. I think she's in like Hawaii or something and she just like decides to go out on a little dinghy by herself and she gets lost like the current takes her out and a mermaid ends up saving her bringing her to a cave and they have some fun together that's what I'm gonna say so it's actually a really fun read I really enjoyed it anyways there you have it those are some romances with plus size or representation let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to but if you don't feel like commenting anything else you can leave me a mermaid emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.